Welcome to the one year grand finale. We are back again with a part three. This time we will be looking at the landscaping and we are going to Hrasko. As we are still having 2024 Toyota Vits, we will be looking at driving experience when we are driving up the mountain of Hrasko. So we check out around 11 o'clock. Let's start with practicality of this 2024 Toyota Vitz XR. To be honest with you guys, this car is so tiny and small and I feel like it's a small budget hatchback which fall less or let's say it's on the first entry of the smallest hatchback so we're expecting to fit only two small luggage bags which probably you have to come with an idea of how you're gonna fit if we are talking about groceries you can fit a lot inside this car but just expect that it's not as much as those other small hatchback as this is a budget small hatchback in numbers we are talking about 295 liter boot space when we compare this with other small hatchback budget cars it's quite decent when we look at Hyundai Green i10 hatchback and when we look at Reynolds Quick, those are the competitors of this Suzuki Celerio or Toyota V. From the last video we talk about this place that it's really a great place i just took a time to show you when i was checking out the driveway and how this chalet are seated but the only thing that i think they can improve is to give a tvs in these rooms except that they have this intelligent technology of using a card not using a keys but the confusion is how to use the card you swipe you tap or another way the service is very good i have been assisted very nicely and the people of here they are really welcoming and very very friendly after checking out we set up our maps and our time and all places that we're gonna visit but there was a lot happened when we were on this trip. The plan was to go to as many places as possible, but some places were so much fun to the point where we took over two hours. And when we go to have a lunch, it only took even more hours. So that makes us not to make it to some places. Shout out to the municipality of this place. The roads are so clean and they don't even have cold holes. From these places like Kruger Gate or Pambeni straight to the Kruger, there's no cold holes, which is so good for these small cars or for each and every car that you will be driving because potholes cost us a lot. Now it's time to prove to you if this is a real or not. Let me prove to you that when you drive near this car, it will give you a hazard. And yes, it is.
I think this is one of the biggest mall in SV Lowell Mall. This mall it's big. I didn't even had a chance to get inside it. But shout out to people of SV. Here I enter Traspop Road, which is very scary road and very steep road. This road needs someone who is careful because it's a snake road going up the mountain. Going through these mountains, this give me an opportunity to check for you fuel consumption of this one liter three cylinder engine going uphill. But I will give you these numbers at the end of the video. Mostly the road is clean on this side. We were cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking. There were no mini cars on this road. If you have watched this far and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, support local YouTube.
Even though this road looks scary, but it's so fun to drive as long as you are driving under speed limit and when you are relaxed, it's very fun road to drive. It gives a different driving experience when you are driving each and every car. The only thing that I thought was to drive maybe a G20 BMW 3 Series 320D on this road. This was one of the idea I had to drive to feel the driving experience because this is a different driving experience from the roads that we find at any places. Yeah, this is where things get scary. This is where you see the snake go completely where you cannot overtake or pass another person because it can end up in tears. It can end up bringing you a lot of injuries, creating a mess that involves other people. The road is very steep and it has some little of potholes. This tar road is completely destroyed. I think this is one of the roads that they have to fix, but just rebuilding this road. We keep on pushing and pushing and pushing and cooking until we find this tunnel. To those who are from Mpumalanga and Hezevu, please tell us the name of this tunnel. But yo guys, there's a lot of potholes under this tunnel. But the landscaping, it's very entertaining and very interesting. There's a lot you can see here. There's a lot that you cannot see at some uh, different uh, provinces. This is very scary to find. Pumalanga and landscaping guys this is an amazing look at this mountain how these engineers comes and build a road near this place all this place it's a uh, wired this a, a, a wire on the mountain just to hold the rocks that they don't fall on the road or they don't damage your cars when you're passing this place but this is a nice place. I felt like I was on the highest point in Mpumalanga. But anyway, this was a fun to drive in this road. After this, we arrived at our all destinations.
when I was booking, I come across this hotel called a uh, view something. And I was like, ah, I'm, I'm not going to this place. I have to go to Gaze View first because I had this, uh, this idea of meeting up with Muzi Sambi. After some few minutes, we arrived at our first destination. The reason to come to this place was to see the pool. That pool, when you saw it on the uh, pictures, it looks very nice. So someone on the TikTok said, you can access the pool when you enter the restaurant. So we do so, but unfortunately they told us that the pool is not theirs. It's for the chalets. You have to go to the chalets so that you will be allowed to take pictures in inside this pool. The pool is unique, different than other pools because there are rocks inside the water and it's just look beautiful in these mountains of Mpumalanga, Rasko. So because I was with the PA, PA didn't like the food of this place so we had to move to second destination. So we arrived at Traskop George Lift and Adventure Center. This was our biggest reason to come to Traskop, to this George Lift. So we arrived at the gate, they told us that wara wara wara, this is how much you pay, this is the entrance for adults, for young, for, for children, and we enter. After that, we went to the Peking. So we arrived at our destination. If you want to see more about Crascope, George Lift and Adventure Center, please stay tuned for the next video. There's a lot that happened in this place and it's fun. It's actually need the whole day without end going to any places. You just have to come to this place for the whole day. They have everything, restaurant, everything that you might need inside there. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Support local YouTube. I will see you next time. Drive safe.